Now let's turn our attention to fossil evidence. Fossils provide a unique window into the past, revealing the existence of extinct species and the transitions between different forms of life. Can any of you maybe think of an interesting fossil discovery or explain how fossils provide evidence for evolution? Fossils demonstrate the existence of ancient species that exhibit intermediate characteristics, providing a snapshot of transitional forms. For example, the fossil record shows the progression from early land-dwelling mammals to the diverse array of marine mammals we see today. These fossil records align with the predictions made by evolutionary theory and provide compelling evidence for the gradual change of a species over time. An example of a fossil that demonstrates an intermediate characteristic and serves as a transitional form is Tiktaalik rossiae. Tiktaalik is an extinct species of fish-like tetrapod, tetra meaning four, pod referring to feet, that lived approximately 375 million years ago. Its fossil was discovered in 2004 in Arctic Canada, and Tiktaalik exhibits a combination of fish-like and tetrapod-like features, making it a remarkable transitional fossil transitioning between those tetrapod creatures and those that are more aquatic. So some key characteristics of Tiktaalik. Number one is it has limb-like fins. So fins that are like limbs. Tiktaalik possesses fin-like appendages with skeletal structures that are similar to those found in tetrapods. These limb-like fins had bones, joints, and functional wrists, suggesting a capability for weight-bearing and movement in shallow water. The second key characteristic is gills and lungs. Tiktaalik, based off of fossil evidence, looks like Tiktaalik actually had gills, indicating its aquatic nature. However, it also had a flat skull and an elongated ribcage, suggesting that it probably also had lungs, or at least a lung-like structure in that ribcage, which enables it to breathe air in oxygen-depleted water or during brief excursions if it goes on land. The third point is that it has a neck and mobile head. Unlike most fish, Tiktaalik had a neck, allowing it to move its head separately from its body. This adaptation would have facilitated better vision and the ability to catch prey in shallow water or on land. And then the fourth key characteristic is it having fish-like scales and tetrapod-like bone structure. Tiktaalik had overlapping fish-like scales on its body, according to fossil evidence, but it also possessed a bone structure that looks a lot like tetrapods. Its fins contained robust bones similar to the humerus, radius, and ulna found in tetrapod limbs. So overall, the discovery of Tiktaalik provides crucial evidence of the transition from aquatic fish-like organisms to tetrapods that eventually colonized the land. The combination of fish-like and tetrapod-like characteristics in Tiktaalik helps bridge the gap between these two groups, offering insights into the evolution of limbs, mobile necks, and the adaptation to terrestrial environments. Tiktaalik's limb-like fins with bone structures resembling tetrapod limbs demonstrates a functional intermediate stage in the evolution of limbs from fins. These features suggest that Tiktaalik may have used its limb-like fins to support its weight and navigate shallow waters, potentially using its front limbs to prop itself up and up in like a push-up motion. The presence of a neck in Tiktaalik indicates an adaptation for more independent head movement, potentially assisting in capturing prey or exploring the environment. These features become increasingly important as organisms transition from a fully aquatic lifestyle to one that involves interacting with the land or terrestrial environments. So overall, Tiktaalik is just a really cool fossil find because it serves as a compelling example of a transitional fossil that provides a snapshot of an organism with characteristics intermediate between fish and tetrapods. 
Its discovery and analysis provide valuable evidence for the gradual evolution and diversification of life forms on Earth. Let's dive into homology and vestigial structures now, which can further strengthen the evidence or support we have for the theory of evolution.